Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. This is Cash Killing AC Sports Report. You guys see the title. I am tired of seeing the LeBron versus Michael Jordan comparisons. They're over, they're done with. LeBron James is not Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is not LeBron James. LeBron James isn't Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson is not Larry Bird. So get the hell over it. That's the first thing. And I got a lot to get to in this video. But the one thing I'm sick of hearing, and I got to call out NBA Jerry on this one, man. I respect his NBA opinion quite a bit. And I, I wouldn't, if I didn't, I wouldn't have watched the video where he said this in. But he was ripping LeBron James for leaving. He was saying he copped out. And he said, well, Kobe Bryant now, or Michael Jordan never would have done that. Which, A, I have, A, Michael Jordan wasn't in the same situation as LeBron James. LeBron James was on a Cleveland Cavaliers team that sucked. So was Michael Jordan on a Bulls team that around him was not very good. The first few years. Then, they got guys like Scottie Pippen. They got guys like Armstrong, Rodman, uh, that's a little later down the road. But they got a stacked team for him at some point. Did he make some of those players what they were? Of course he did. But at the same time, they got players around him. Who in the hell did LeBron James get in Cleveland? A beaten down, old ass Shaq. Mo Williams. Come on, man. Mo Williams is one of the biggest playoff chokers I've ever seen in my years of watching the NBA, which is quite a bit if you're guessing that it's not. But I got to call out NBA Jerry, who he said that. Yes, Michael Jordan did stay. But at the same time, Michael Jordan got a good team. And the Cleveland Cavaliers made no attempt to do that. They had a chance to go get Amari Stoudemire, and they would have to pass up. I forget who the guy was, but he was one of their younger players. And they said, no. You could have got Amari Stoudemire, LeBron James, 110% would still be a Cleveland Cavalier. You could have got him, you didn't, and that's on the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's not on the Chicago Bulls, who are completely unrelated to this. Completely unrelated to this whole thing. So, because Michael Jordan is not LeBron James, and LeBron James is not Michael Jordan. I, it's, there seems to be this thing like, Mike, like LeBron James is that little brother who can't do it. Shut up about it. Like, it's annoying. I'm not saying that to Jared. The thing I had a problem with, because the MJ thing, fine. MJ got a team, but it, he was in a similar situation to LeBron. The part that really made me disgusted, and it sums up what a lot of people think, not just Jerry, was the part where he said, we even have guys in our game now that wouldn't leave, like Kobe Bryant. Are you kidding me? Kobe Bryant wouldn't leave? First of all, Kobe Bryant walked into a situation where he had it made. After a couple years, they got Shaq down there. Kobe Bryant had a stacked team. For a few years there, he didn't have a stacked team. And what did Kobe Bryant try to do? He tried to get out. And then Jerry said, yeah, but he didn't have any help then. What did LeBron have? What did LeBron have back then? I, I don't get that. It doesn't make any sense to me because LeBron James didn't have help. So if you're going to use the same thing for Kobe Bryant, then it's a dead argument. It doesn't make sense though. And then Kobe Bryant got another stacked team with Pau Gasol, Lamar Odom, Andrew Bynum. A stacked team. A stacked team that he didn't carry this year. And if he is so clutch like everyone claims he is. And he's a great player. He's top 2015, maybe even 10 of all time. The same position. He's not. Him and LeBron are close. But uh, no one comes down hard on it. Well, he, he gets it done in the clutch. And if I have a last second shot and I'm asking who's taking I'm sure as hell taking Kobe Bryant over LeBron James. I'm sorry. It is overrated how well Kobe shoots in the clutch, but it's not overrated that Kobe is more clutch. Kobe has that mentality, like he gets pissed off, like Dwayne Wade tried to have in Game 5 of the NBA Finals and it didn't work. Where those last three minutes, you get pissed off and he puts that team on the back and says, you know what, you better get ready, you're coming with me now and we're going to get it done. 
Whether you're on here or not, I'm carrying this team and we're going to get it done. And he does that later in the games a lot of times. Not all the time, and he has been bailed out by Shaq throughout his career, who won Kobe three of his rings. So, if you want to go by who wins each... If you want to not count the rings that LeBron James has for having Dwayne Wade, well, I'm sure as hell taking Shaq over LeBron or over Dwayne Wade as a teammate. Shaq in his prime, when Shaq was considered the best player in the NBA. LeBron James right now is considered the best player in the NBA. So if you're going to take stuff away from LeBron, who's still considered the best player on his team by people who actually watch the games, then you have to also look at the fact that Kobe Bryant wasn't even the best player on his team. Kobe Bryant was the second best player on his team. Th there's nothing more to it. But th there's a sense that, um, that that's all I have to say for the Kobe Bryant thing. I mean, I, that's that's just silly to me. For the Michael Jordan thing, you know what, guys? Michael Jordan is the greatest player that's ever walked on a basketball court. He did it all. He played great defense, or he played very good defense, very good offense. When when he had a problem with his game, he would fix it, and the next year would be ba better. Michael Jordan, to steal a phrase from Mark Jackson, hand down man down is the greatest player who has ever walked on a basketball court and anyone who tries to tell you differently is dead wrong like Biggie Smalls would say you're dead wrong and I, I but that doesn't mean that because stupid people at ESPN and Fox Sports and every national media site or site website heat index TV channel, radio station, tried to make it out like LeBron James was going to be the second coming of Michael Jordan. That doesn't mean that because LeBron James doesn't have the same attributes as Jordan, that you can't call LeBron a great player. That's the part that people have lost in all this. And I mean, I'm done trying to convince the haters, because these people, I'm not even a LeBron James fan. You know, if you ask me who my favorite player in the NBA is, it's Dwight Howard. It's not even LeBron James. But it's almost like this season, if you notice last year, I, I wasn't sitting here on YouTube, you know, telling people they're wrong about things, saying, you know, LeBron James is the best player. I did this because it's the truth, not because I want it to be the truth or anything like that. So Kobe, so LeBron James is not Michael Jordan. Okay, LeBron James is LeBron James. And when Scottie Pippen made that comment, something I never made a video about, and I probably should have, that LeBron James could go down as the greatest player ever, he sure as hell could. I know I just said that Michael Jordan always will be the best, and he always will in my opinion. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that my opinion, my opinion is a guess based off what I've seen. A guess. Not anything more than a guess based off some facts. LeBron James could be better than Michael Jordan. Skill set wise, even Skip Brainless admits that he has a better, he's the most talented all around player. And I get disgusted watching LeBron James sometimes in these clutch situations. But it's almost like people who just sit here and say, well, he's not a clutch at all. He doesn't have the clutch gene as Skip idiot would say well I mean I seem to remember the Bulls series a couple games back the beginning of this series I made it or uh, when Le when Rose won the MVP I made a video saying LeBron or Howard should have won it which is the truth and that was on full display in the Bulls series but prior to the Bulls series people commented oh you're an idiot blah blah Derrick Rose gonna be running the league He's more clutch. LeBron James can't get it done. What happens? LeBron James puts a team on his back. Dwayne Wade was not anywhere to be found in that Bulls series. So, because he's not putting on a display in the NBA Finals, that's the only spot you evaluate clutch on? That's the only spot. No, no, we, we just completely threw out the Eastern Conference Finals because that means nothing anymore. 
You didn't have to win the Eastern Conference to get the NBA Finals. You were just in the NBA Finals automatically. Yep, yep, that ma that makes a lot of sense. <sighs> I'm sitting here and I'm trying to do what's right. And that is not have more and more people fall victim to listening to idiots on the national media and idiots on YouTube. And I'm not saying Jerry's an idiot because he's not, so don't even try and pull that shit on me. I think NBA Jared does a great job. I disagreed with his one point, so I called out. If I disagree with the point from JR Sport Brief or Bruce Blitz or anyone on YouTube, I will call them out because that's the style I am. People get this impression, oh, well, you weren't like this until you started hanging out with Bruce Blitz on YouTube. I sure as hell was. I sure as hell was. Me and AC sat here last year, and maybe it wasn't about this, but we sat here and we killed people for the, not literally but we killed people for say for talking shit on Philly and then not doing it in return on New York because they're from New York and they work at the national media so don't give me that either I'm just trying to do what's right and people are losing track of what is right okay LeBron isn't Michael Jordan and there's so many people out there I think Michael Jordan's the greatest player ever I have a bunch of NBA posters in my room. I have two LeBron James posters. I have some Chris Paul. I have a Kobe Bryant. I have Dwight Howard, Dwayne Wade. But the biggest one in the middle is Michael Jordan. And he is the biggest. And I don't think he will be beaten. But that doesn't mean that LeBron James isn't a great player. And that's what everyone's losing track of. You know what? I'm enjoying these NBA Finals because I'm looking at it from the stance that, hey, if Dirk wins, I've always liked Dirk. I've enjoyed watching him play. If LeBron wins, hey, I was right. Everyone else, LeBron, <laughs> LeBron is such a traitor. It's not even fair. I'm going to be a little baby and cry. Shut up. You're missing out on one of the greatest players step on a basketball court. So we did something that not that other greats haven't done in the past. Get over it. It happens. 